Today in this video, I'm going to explain how to configure network settings on a CentOS 6 operating system. On a computer, there are physical network interfaces, and then on the operating system, there are software network interfaces. Software interfaces are often mapped to physical interfaces one-to-one. -one. A common exception would be the default loopback interface. When CentOS is looking for hardware, a program finds and configures rules for the discovered interfaces. The default interface for the first physical interface found is named Ethernet 0. Since the basis of the Linux operating system is just files, all settings are configured through ASCII files and the, on the system. CentOS has three basic files used for configuring network systems. An interface configuration file, a network configuration file, and a name resolution configuration file. All that is needed to change the network settings is to edit each file with a text editor. So now we have to determine if we need to configure our network interface card on the machine. So to get a list of currently configured interfaces, you do the ifconfig command, and it shows us we only have our default loopback interface configured. So we're going to have to uh, configure the network interface card we have in the machine. So now we have to edit the configuration for our Ethernet Zero interface. So to edit the file, we have to open up a text editor. I like to use the program Nano, because it's very simple and easy to use. So we're going to type nano, space, and then go to the file on our local file system. So we're going to be configuring Ethernet 0. And you hit enter, and it brings up the text editor. So we could see the contents of the file. So right here we have the device, it's called Ethernet 0. The hardware address, which is its uh, media access control. And then the type, it's a uh, Ethernet card, the yeah, universally unique ID on boot, which means will the device be connected to the operating system and configured when the OS boots up. So we're going to go here and do replace no with yes. And then NM controlled. There is a uh, network manager software on here that simplifies this, which I don't really care to use. So we're going to do no, because this is how we're going to be managing it. And then the boot protocol, we want to give the server a static IP address, so we're going to use replace DHCP with static. So now we give it an IP address. So you do IPADR, and then we're going to have it equal to the whatever IP address you want. I'm going to use 2.56, and then now we have to give it the uh, network mask. And I'm using a slash 23. And then that is all for the configuration for your Ethernet interface. And then to uh, exit edit mode, you're going to do control X. And then you're uh, questioned, do you want to save your changes? You hit Y for yes. And then the file name that you're going to save it to, and we're going to keep it the, de the default because we opened it that way and then hit enter. And then now our uh, configuration has been saved. So now that we have our interface configured, we have to define a default gateway for the machine. So to do that, we're going to edit the networking file. So we use nano and open the file. So we have networking turned on, and this is our customized host name for this machine. And then we're going to give it a default gateway. And mine is going to be 2.1. So we save, just like before. So now the last thing we have to configure is our name resolution. So we're going to open up the resolve configuration. And then this right here is just a comment saying that when your interface uses GHCP, it's going to automatically generate this file conf configurations. So we're going to want a domain suffix. So our search domain, I'm going to use brevin.local, because that's my in-house domain. And then uh, my name DNS server is 192.168.2.2. And then you can add a secondary name server if you want for, let's say, Google. If your uh, primary does not respond, good timeout. I'm not going to do that, though. 
and then you save it and then that's that so now that we have all of our configurations made we could take a look at what changes we have so I'm going to use cat which will concatenate all the contents of multiple files to the standard output on the screen and then for each file I'm going to use a space to separate it So as you can see, it, it uh, outputs all of the settings, network settings we have made. So all of that looks good to me. So now we just have to restart the networking daemon. And a daemon is just a service. Because if you look at the interface configuration, it still doesn't show up. Okay, so to uh, restart the networking service, all you have to do is run a simple script and right now I'm going to show you what the script looks like. So it's just a simple bash script, and as you can see for usage, you could interact with it. It's telling it to start, stop, get a status, restart, reload, or force a reload. So instead of running it straight from the actual file, I'm going to use a, a service program, which will do that for me, and all I have to tap is network. So we could get a status of our configured interfaces and then our active interfaces. So we have Ethernet 0 configured, but it's not active. And using a fconfig will show you only your active interfaces too. So to restart it, we're just going to type restart. Just going to restart it all and it's going to show us that Ethernet 0 is being brought up. So now I could do an ifconfig and we have Ethernet 0 with its IP address. So to test our network connectivity, let's just do a simple ping Google test. And as you can see, we have connectivity. We could do a name resolution test. And our name resolution works. So another name resolution test we could do is, as you remember, I uh, configured a domain suffix. So that means I should be able to ping just a host name off of my domain. And it figures out it's on the domain bravin.local and figures out the IP address. So that works too.